22. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $90,000 for the purpose of replacing the outdoor overhead lighting system at Eaton Park that is failing due to age, the donor signage at Kids Kingdom that has fallen into complete disrepair and cannot be repaired again, damaged signage at recreation facilities as determined by the Board of Selectmen, the town manager, and the director of Parks and Recreation, and to authorize the withdrawal of that amount from the Recreation Infrastructure Special Revenue Fund established for that purpose under Article 44 of the 2007 Annual Town Meeting. No amount to be raised by taxation. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 3-2. Recommended by the Budget Committee, 10-1-1. Fiscal impact, no, no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 22? Moved by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Mr. Pluff. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard on Article 22? Ms. Martin. Good morning. The warrant article of the Parks and Recreation Department this year is to purchase three signs for our parks and to replace um, outdoor lighting at Eaton Park. The signs that need to be replaced are for Tuckfield, Eaton Park, and Kids Kingdom Playground. The signs at Kids Kingdom and Eaton Park have been removed as they have either been vandalized or weather-worn or both, and they could not be repaired. The signs at Tuckfield is still standing, however, it is also damaged and an eyesore, and it needs to be replaced as well. The, uh, the other part of the article that addresses the outdoor sports lighting at Eaton Park, these lights are over 40 years old and are in terrible shape. The poles are not in the right positions to light the field properly, and the wiring is failing, leaving the entire field or parts of the field unlit or underlit, causing a safety hazard. I'm in hopes of replacing these lights with new, more energy efficient lights that will light the field directly and not the neighborhood of Park Avenue. These are about, there is also a 25 year warranty on the new light system, which will include lights, poles, wiring, and the installation. These are all necessary items for our Parks Department, and I hope for your vote in March in support of this article. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Mr. Lang. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Moderator. David Lang, 66 Park Avenue. I rise in support uh, of this very important article, and I want to offer just a little bit of history about where Eaton Park came from. You see, you heard a little bit this morning about this restaurant on the Marsh, which was owned by um, the Eaton family, which happened to be my in-laws. Uh, my father-in-law, Bert Eaton, many of you um, that have been around a while probably know him. I, I see Arthur Moody. I know that they shared a game of cards every now and again. Um, uh, Bert Eaton um, really wanted to have more parks for kids. So a group of business people got together. <clears throat> Excuse me. A group of business people got together and they contributed money in which to put those lights so that they could play at night. Now he never thought that that was going to amount to anything, but they did it themselves through donations and they put those lights up for that softball field. And then they put the fence up and then uh, my mother-in-law, later on, after my father-in-law passed, wanted to make sure that it never left the ownership of the town of Hampton, so at a very reduced price, had a real estate agent um, put together a package at which a deliberative session, matter of fact, the town meeting session, voted to authorize the town to purchase that. Eaton Park has been the home of many a softball game. Eaton Park was uh, the location in which the Hampton firefighters once again beat the Hampton police officers. <laughs> It's not their fault. They try. They just spend too much time alone in the cruiser. But I'm asking you uh, on behalf of my father-in-law, on behalf of the kids, and on behalf of what's right in this town, um, it's a great place for adults and kids to go and enjoy themselves, and that's Kids Kingdom and Eaton Park to support this important article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 22? Seeing none, Article 22 will appear on the ballot as printed.